Hallelujah. Good, good and blessed morning to all of us. Amen. Are we blessed to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, you know when we go to work, Monday to Friday, or sometimes we work weekends or other brothers and sisters works weekend, what do we come, what, what do we, um, uh, I mean, what, does our presence at work means? Ano po yung dahilan kung bakit tayo nasa trabaho? What are the reasons that we are at work? To work. Amen? Hallelujah. What was the reason that the Manson family went for a holiday? To have a break. To have a, to have a holiday. Amen? Thanks God they came back in one piece. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure those waistline? It's not 1.5. Hallelujah. And when we come to church, my dear brothers and sisters, we have no other business in coming to church than to communicate with God. Amen? We are here to communicate with God. And today, let us learn. Let us learn. Let us grow in communicating with God. Amen, church? Can I invite each and everyone to stand up to welcome the word of God? Hallelujah. This is your word, O oh God. In Psalms chapter 1, it has uh, six verses. It says in here, my dear brothers and sisters, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of the sinners, or sit in the seat of the mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruits and season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does, prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like a shop that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous but the way of the wicked will perish. Let us pray to the Lord. Father God, we thank you for gathering us this morning. Lord, we continue to lift up the name of your son, Jesus. His name is power. His name is healing. He shines like a light, Father God, breaking every stronghold. And Lord, that is our desire this morning. At Father God, we pray that you break any strongholds. We pray, O Lord, that you break any our natural and our carnal senses, Father God, that can be used by the enemy to block, Father God, your appointed portion that you have for us today. We pray then, O Lord, that we receive your message in the spirit, Father God, and not on the flesh, O Lord, because we know and we do believe that whatever the reason and the purpose that you have sent forth your word is for our betterment, Lord. We know and we do believe, Father God, that your words are written and every single dot of it, Father God, so that the Son of Man, we, whom you have called, Father God, while we are still alive, is given the chance and opportunity to have the change of heart and come to you, Father God. Lord, thank you for all these reminders. Thank you for all this exhortation. Thank you for all this training. And thank you for all this rebuke so that us, Father God, will be fully 
integrated so that us, O Lord God, will be complete, O God, in your kingdom. Amen. We thank you so much. Father, I pray that you hide me behind you. That Lord, whatever words that comes out of this mouth is the overflow of the heart. And whatever the content of this heart, Father God, is touched, Lord, and anointed and appointed, Father God, and cleansed by you. We take authority over all the works of the enemy and we rebuke any disturbances and distractions in Jesus' name. And all the people of God says, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, let's all uh, sit down. And uh, yes, before we proceed, I just want to take this wonderful opportunity to greet our brothers and sisters in the Lord who are celebrating their 15th years of uh, oneness together. Say, Brother Ramon and Sister Michelle. Blessed and happiest anniversary. And uh, um, yes, um, corporately, we as your family, we thank the Lord for your lives. Amen. And it is our prayer that the Lord continuously walk with you in years and years and years to come. Amen. And uh, we want to greet as well uh, young Daniel for uh, blessed and uh, happy birthday. It is advanced or uh, belated? When is your... Uh, today. Yesterday as well? Today. Uh, today. So, bull. Exact. I was hoping that you stand in here and uh, testify. Hallelujah. Did you want to come and stand in here and say something? Come on. Come on. Uh, I'd like to thank God for my parents and that I'm now 14. Amen. And to this, your family. Hallelujah. You only look 13, brother. Thank you very much. God bless. God bless. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, yes, welcome. Welcome. Welcome one another uh, to all of us who are gathered here in the hall. And uh, to all the people who are joining us online. And we do apologize uh, because uh, we were running late this morning. Amen. Um, uh, it so happened that the, the scouts, the uh, owner of this place, they had an overnight last night. The, the scouts had overnight last night in this place. So um, they already advised us beforehand that um, uh, this place won't be available for our use yesterday. Usually we practice in the afternoon of Saturday. We prepare the place in the afternoon of Saturday. But because of their overnight scout, we were not able to use the hall. And they only told us that we can only use the hall in the morning from 10 o'clock. Amen. And guess what? We came 10 o'clock. Other people came 10 o'clock ahead and they are still here. I think they fully went out of that door by half past 10 already. So uh, we, uh, with all, um, uh, we apologize. We know, we anticipated that we will be late one hour or at least one and a half hour. And the brethren said that, Pastor, shall we advise the church? that uh, we will be running late for one hour or one and a half hours. And I actually told them, no, it's okay. Let them come as is on time so that they can see the chaos that is happening here before the calm actually is. Amen. Because some of us or majority of us, we come in a Sunday and we thought that this place is like this all the week. Now, we come in a Sunday and akala natin ganito na itong lugar. Uh, we don't have any inclination of how this place actually look like when we are setting up with all the chaos in here. So I said that it's okay. Let them come as is on time so that they can um, appreciate how the chaos is in here. And who knows that the Lord will touch their heart, that they have a burden for the ministry and start coming in to help. In setting up. Amen. Amen. And I pray. I pray to the Lord. That the Lord will speak to each and every one of us. Amen. So my dear brothers and sisters. Psalms chapter 1 that we read. Actually 
Um, uh, Psalms chapter 1 that we read is the Lord is showing us two types of a man, two types of a person. And my dear brothers and sisters, you can only be either one of them. You cannot be both of them. You cannot be in the middle as well. There is only two type of a person, my dear brothers and sisters. There is no one standing in the middle. There is no one, a third type. Amen? And in here, my dear brothers and sisters, it gives a contrast. Amen? It gives a contrast of a man who follows the Lord. It gives a contrast of a man who is surrendered, a man who accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, and a man, my dear brothers and sisters, when I say man, I'm not talking about lalaki, tao. Amen? A tao, mga kapatid, that is not living under the roof of the Lord. And nakikita naman natin, we can see the privilege, we can see the benefit we can see the blessing that comes from the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters, on one of them. Amen? So mga kapatid, if we remember that passage, Psalms chapter 1, it actually tells us, mga kapatid, that, I mean, it's a mirror. The Bible is a mirror. Amen. And if you are, there's a two types of man. The first man is described in um, uh, verses 1 to verses 3. And the second one was described in verses 4 to verses 6. Amen. And the encouragement in there is, I don't know what your state is. Nothing is hidden from the Lord. But if you are the person in that state, the first person, the man who is blessed, then remain on those states. Amen? Remain on those states. But if you are the second person, the one in verse 4 to 6, because it is a mirror, then my dear brothers and sisters, something has to change. Amen. That's the reason why that we come to church. For us to have a better standing with the Lord. Amen, church. No? So mga kapatid, hindi, na po, hindi pa po ba tayo nagsasawa in a life that is a cycle? Hindi pa po ba tayo nagsasawa in a life that is, um, you know the rat race? You know the rat race? You know that wheel? Brothers, do you know that? The rat race? You know that wheel that the, the mice will exercise into? Ba? That even how much effort, how much uh, this rat try to run fast or run slow, it's a cycle. Keep on going, like turning and turning. Amen. So, hindi pa po ba tayo nagsasawa dyan sa cycle na yan? That we always run, we always exert our effort, but the same over and over again. Let us be careful. Brother Ramon spoke earlier about a life in progress. There is a very thin line between a life in progress and a life in a cycle. Hindi pa po ba tayo nagsasawa sa buhay, mga kapatid, na papasok, we go to work, we go home in the evening, sasahod tayo, we receive the salary, and gastos, cycle. And then Monday, here we are again. Hindi pa po ba tayo nagsasawa sa buhay na mag-church tayo sa linggo, Uuwi tayo sa hapon ng linggo. We go back in our week unchanged. And we come back next week to repeat the same cycle. Mga kapatid, with all due respect, this is not a sermon. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the reality that is happening. 
Amen. This is the reality that is happening. Don't shut the messenger. I'm just conveying the message. Amen. In the book of Psalms, chapter 1, mga kapatid, napakaganda yung aral na mapupulot natin dito. It reminds us that that cycle has to be broken. Amen. Amen. It reminds us that a change in that cycle, that atmosphere has to happen. Amen, church? It reminds us that transformation has to take place. It reminds us, my dear brothers and sisters, that brand new things has to come in place. Amen? You know, as a people, December na naman. Ano yung kanta nung sumisilip? Life is a... Life is a... Life is a constant change. <laughs> Amen? That's what the uh, uh, ja, no Jan Jose Marichan. Wow, first Gab, I heard Gab uh, was singing Jose Marichan uh, last night. Beautiful girl, <laughs> and I said, "That's uh, the voice of uh, Gab." There's a difference uh, of singing "Beautiful Girl" and an in love singing "Beautiful Girl." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gab. <laughs> Ibinubo ko ba kita, Gab? <laughs> it's okay. You're 14, right? Oh, 13. It's okay. When I first had a crush, I think I was 9 years old. So, that's okay. <laughs> when I first started singing Beautiful Girl, I was 9. So, you're 13. So, that's okay. <laughs> that's natural. <laughs> that's natural. Amen. So mga kapatid, no? Life is a constant change. And as a person, as a people, we usually um uh, as a people, we usually how what's the word that I want? As a people, we usually react to changes either two ways. There again, there is no third way. If there is a change, mga kapatid, we can either be negative about it because we are being taken away from our normal situation because change is happening, we are taken away from our comfort zone. What happens, mga kapatid? No? We resent the changes. We are not happy about the changes. We feel uncomfortable, we feel worry, sometimes we fear, mga kapatid, Sometimes we are resistant of the changes. Or we could either be positive about it. How many of you in here that when there is a change, you actually take that positively and look at that as an opportunity? Look at that as a challenge. Diba? How many of us in here that when there is change, ay nagkakaroon tayo ng enthusiasm, nagkakaroon tayo ng eagerness? Nagkakaroon tayo ng inspiration. Amen? So it's either tama or tama. Amen po? Amen. No, as a testimony, it's not hidden from you guys, especially yung mga nakakasama natin, uh, the people who uh, join us in our midweek gathering. How many times that I gave a testimony that, you know, while we were away in on holiday, two weeks before coming back to the UK, uh, work started to introduce these new applications of uh, recording everything. This new app that uh, we use online to record everything and it's very complicated. First, the app in itself is a very complicated. Second, the app is work in progress. It keeps on crashing. You wrote a whole, a lot of uh, novella and then it's crashing and then you have to go back again. From the, and it's very, talagang, it's very painful. And when I came back from work, imagine, um, uh, nalulungkot ka dahil umuwi, uh, iniwan mo yung mga mahal sa buhay sa Pilipinas. You are jet lag and then you are at work and this is what you have to face. And mga kapatid, it was not easy. 
I was coming home probably two hours, three hours later than usual. Well, glory to God at the moment, it's now back to its normality. But what I, why am I saying this? Because when, during that, when I met with the head of the department, nagpasalamat siya. He gave, uh, she gave the commendation na nagsabi na, wow, maraming salamat. Well done, kasi I heard from your managers na uh, apart from everyone, ikaw lang yung hindi kinaringgan ng casting word. Ikaw lang yung hindi kinaringgan na nagmura. Ikaw lang yung hindi kinaringgan ng resistant sa change na yan. Kundi you took it. And I said that, well, it's not me. That's a life of a Christian should be. Amen. Yung mga kasamahan kong inabutan ko, two weeks na nilang ginagamit pagdating ko, they are there. They are still very resistant and all that. But change has to happen, sabi ng Panginoon. Amen. God made a promise, Isaiah 43.19. It says in here, my dear brothers and sisters, napakaganda po ng promise ng Panginoon na to. Sabi niya rito, Behold, I am doing a new thing. A new thing is a change. Amen. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it's spring forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Hallelujah. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, mga kapatid, may pagbabagong gagawin ang Panginoon sa buhay mo. Yan ang pangako ng Panginoon. Amen. May pagbabagong gagawin ang Panginoon sa buhay mo. Amen. Yan ang pangako ng Panginoon. I am going to do a brand new things in your life. And it is springing forth. Nag, hindi, hindi nagtatalbos. What do you, ano yung sabi natin? Saringit. Ano yung saringit sa Tagalog? Sprout or? Sumisibol. Di ba? Ha? <laughs> o yun, lumalabas, kabuti. Nag-i-spring forth. Amen. Nagtatal yung nagsasaringit. Uh, Saringit nga ba yun? No? Sabi ng Panginoon, Behold, I am doing a brand new thing. The Lord is doing a brand new thing in your life, my dear brothers and sisters. And believe me, you, He already started it. Amen. Inumpisahan na ng Panginoon. All you have to do, sabi niya rito, is to perceive it. Amen. All you need to do, mga kapatid, is to perceive it. All you need to do, mga kapatid, is to acknowledge it through the eyes of faith. Amen, church. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert, sabi na rito mga kapatid. Amen. The Lord is doing a brand new thing in your life and He has started it. Amen. In those dry areas of your life, those desolate areas of your life, my dear brothers and sisters, rivers are springing forth. Amen. All you need to do is perceive it. To anyone who has not yet fully and truly received the Holy Spirit of the Lord, it says in there that the moment that you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, it says in there, there is a flow of living waters that will flow from within you. By this, He means the Holy Spirit that will come to those who will believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, church. Those dry areas, those desolate areas, those unproductive areas, those unfruitful areas of our life, kung may karamdaman ka, hindi yung dasal ni pastor ang kailangan mo. You have to perceive 
that the Lord is doing a brand new thing in your life. You have to perceive that rivers of living water that is, is springing out from within you. Amen, church? May gagawin ang Panginoon sa iyong buhay. And to be honest, nag-umpisa na po ang Panginoon. Amen? Amen. Jeremiah 33.3 Again, equally, napakaganda ng pangako ng Panginoon dito. Call unto me, and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. Amen, church. Ano yung sabi ng Panginoon? When will the Lord show us great and mighty things? When? When we call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. Call upon me and I will show you, I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. That is the reason, my dear brothers and sisters, that a believer, that a Christian, that a person is stuck in that cycle. That is the reason that one is stuck in that rat race of life. The reason that we are not seeing or experiencing great and mighty things is because, because we are not calling upon the name of the Lord. Failure to communicate with God. Amen? People might say na, excuse me, pastor, nagdadasal naman ako. Nagdadasal naman kaming pamilya. Nagdadasal naman kaming mag-asawa. Nagdadasal naman kami ng mga kapatid ko. Did you mean humihingi sa Panginoon? Well, I come across this, uh, ano na, a Christian has a, a triad of prayer. You know, yung triad ng sapphire. And even a Christian has a triad of prayer. Panginoon, hinihingi ko ang kapatawaran mo. Panginoon, hinihingi ko ang bindisyon mo. Ito ang aking listaan. At Panginoon, hinihingi ko ang gabay mo. Yung protection mo. Does it sound familiar? Kasi sometimes ganun tayo eh, di ba? Ako, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes ganun. Lalong-lalo na when you, um, uh, when you, uh, after um, uh, napuyat ka sa gabi and you are waking up in the morning and uh, huli yung alarm mo and, Panginoon, pwede bang ibigay ko sa iyo yung triad of uh, prayer? Hinihiling ko ang kapatawaran mo, hinihiling ko ang bindisyon mo, ito ang aking listahan. Hinihiling ko yung gabay mo sa araw na to. Ah, mga kapatid, no? Is that the prayer that the Lord wants us? No? Everyone can talk to the Lord. Do you agree with me? But everyone does. Everyone can talk to the Lord. But not everyone communicates with the Lord. There is a big difference apparently in the English language about talking and speaking to the Lord versus communication with the Lord. The English dictionary will tell us that the process of talking or speaking is when a person conveys through their speech what is in their heart, what is in their chest, what is in their minds, what is in their feelings, but it does not guarantee that those were understood or accepted by the other party. Is it not accurate representation of speaking or talking to someone? Whereas communication, it says in here that it requires more than verbally. It also involves non-verbal. And most importantly, the listening part. The thinking part. The feeling part. 
and the attempting to see the perspective of the other person that you are communicating with. Amen. Is it an accurate representation of communication? Amen. So, mga kapatid, applying this principle, no? So, in reality, when we, when the Lord says, call unto me, what is the Lord telling us? Communicate. Di ba? Communicate with me. As a matter of fact, the call unto me, the original Hebrew word in here, is the Hebrew word, let kasher. Let kasher meaning, my dear brothers and sisters, call unto me, communicate with me. Let's have a productive conversation. As opposed to the Hebrew word, ledaber, which means speaking with someone, talking with someone. So the Hebrew word, let kasher and ledaber, familiar. Eba? Familiar po. But they have two different meanings. And the word that is used in here, call unto me, the Lord says, is, let kasher alay. Call unto me. Communicate with me. And when you call unto me, when you communicate with me, ano yung sabi ng Panginoon? I will answer thee. Amen? I will answer thee. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, verse 26 to 27, it says in here, this is, the, this is the application. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Holy Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groaning, to dip for words, and He who searches our heart, knows the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. So mga kapatid, if we try to apply this call unto me, meaning communicate unto me, as opposed to speak unto me or talk to me, my dear brothers and sisters, it, it says in here that likewise the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. What does that weakness symbolizes in coming to the Lord? What is that weakness that symbolizes in coming to the Lord? Why is it that because of that weakness that we do not know what we should ought to pray for? Does that mean na hindi ko alam kung ano yung aking ipagdadasal? That's not what it meant. Because when was the last time na hindi mo alam ang iyong ipagdadasal? May listahan ka pa nga eh, di ba? And sometimes we interpret it the wrong way na, Lord, hindi namin alam kung ano ang aming ipagdadasal, kung sino ang aming ipagdadasal. The word dasal meaning calling unto me, communicate with me. This weakness, my dear brothers and sisters, is our very humanity. Our sinful nature. Nasabi niya doon that because of our very humanity, because of our sinful nature, we do not know how to come to God. We do not know how to start communication with God. We do not know how can we approach God. We do not know how to communicate with God. Mga kapatid, Amen. So when it says that because of that weakness, because of our very humanity, it did not say that we do not know what to pray. No, it says we do not know how to come to God, how to communicate with God. We do not know how to commune with God because why? There is that divide. Amen, church. There is that divide, there is that separation. That's the reason why that it says in there that the Holy Spirit intercedes with us. And with the principle of intercession, what the women when we say intercessor? 
Nagkaroon tayo ng teaching about that. Intercessor means standing on the gap between two parties. Amen? That's the reason why that the Holy Spirit is there, is standing in your gap between you and the Lord, because on your own accord, in your own weakness and humanity, you do not know how to come and communicate with God. That's the reason why that calling unto God, praying unto God, communicating unto God is more than just speaking or talking to God because let's us look at in here. The Holy Spirit did not speak. The Holy Spirit did not talk. It just groans. Amen? It just groans, my dear brothers and sisters. Amen. It just groans, my dear brothers and sisters. So verse 27, this is the important part. It is not the act of how much na ibibigay mo, how much that you are telling God. The most important part in here is God will actually reveal His will to you. Amen. That's the most important. That God will reveal His will to you. When you call unto the Lord, when you communicate with the Lord, mga kapatid, God will reveal His will unto you. Amen. When you call unto the Lord, the Lord will answer you and He will show you great and mighty things, sabi niya doon sa binasa natin kanina. Jeremiah 33.3. You know? When we talk to God, when we speak and ask God of what we need, of our wants, our requirements, believe me, mga kapatid, I genuinely believe that God answers us. No? You know when you speak to God, when you talk to God and you ask God, what are your requirements? What are your wants? What are your needs? What are your desires? I genuinely believe that God answer it, especially if that will not lead into your destruction. God will give you what you are asking for Him. Brother Ramon asked and prayed for a beautiful wife. Then the Lord gave him a beautiful wife. Amen. Amen, Amen church. Amen. Sino sa may asawa dito na nagdasal ng beautiful wife at hindi binigyan ng Panginoon? Anyone? Oh. <laughs> Amen. Lahat tayo nagdasal to have a beautiful wife and the Lord gave us a beautiful wife. Men, husbands, Sa mata natin, dapat the most beautiful is our wife. Amen, church? Amen. No? So I genuinely believe that when we ask God, when we talk to God, Lord, this is what my requirement is. Lord, this is what I want. Lord, this is what I need. I genuinely believe that God will give it to you. Especially kung ikakabuti mo, Especially if that will not lead you to destruction. Especially if that will not lead you to sin. Matthew 7, 9 to 11, it says in there, Of which one of you, if his son ask him for a bread, will give him a stone? Or if he ask for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then who are evil know how to give good, give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? Amen. 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 You don't even have to be the children of God. Sabi niya doon, Ate Ani, paborito ni Ate Ani yun. When do we come the, become the children of God? When we receive the Lord Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior and we, we receive the Holy Spirit as a personal guarantee, doon tayo nagiging children of God. Amen. Paborito ni Ate Ani yun na verse. And sabat sabi niya rito that our Father in heaven give good things to them that ask Him. You don't even need to be a son to Him. Ibibigay niya. 
Awesome, isn't it? Amen, church. Amen. So I genuinely believe that when we speak or talk to God, He will give you what your will is. Amen. When you speak and talk to God, He will give you what your will is. Especially, like I said, if it will not lead you to sinning and destruction. But a true prayer, a calling unto the Lord, communicating with the Lord, that means it's more than speaking, telling to God what you want. It involves listening to Him. It involves waiting for His reply. Kasi sabi niya doon, why do you need to reply? Because it says, I will answer you. If you call unto me, if you communicate with me, the Lord says, I will answer you. As opposed to, when you ask me something, I will give it to you. But it says, when you communicate with me, the Lord says, I will answer you. Amen. Amen. So when we speak to the Lord, when we talk to the Lord, when we ask the Lord, the Lord will give what we are willing. Amen. But my dear brothers and sisters, with true prayer, with true communication with God, where we communicate with God, He will give you His will. Amen. He will give you His will. Amen. And if you are to ask me, I trust in the will of God in my life more than my will in my life. Amen, church. Amen. Amen. When you talk to God, if you ask God, when you speak to God, ibibigay ng Panginoon yung will mo. Especially kung hindi yan makakabulid sa'yo. But when you communicate with God and God answer you, ibibigay ng Panginoon yung will niya sa'yo. Amen? Nakikita po natin yung diferensya. Amen? This tells me that we pray to the Lord. We communicate with the Lord. Not to receive our own desire, but we communicate with the Lord. We call unto the Lord in order to seek and that we may receive His will in us. Amen po? Amen? Amen? Kanino po tayo mas magtitiwala? Sa will ng Panginoon sa buhay natin o yung pangsarili nating will sa buhay natin? You answer it. Amen. Speaking, talking, and asking God, He will give you the desires of your heart, which is good, brilliant. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, most of the time, that's what we do. We treat God as a cash machine. Father, ibigay mo ito. Lord, ganito ang ibigay mo. Or sometimes we treat God as a genie. Lord, this is my wish. May dalawa pa ako, di ba? But a true prayer, a true communication with God, it says in there, call unto me and I will answer you. And when the Lord answers us, ano yung sabi ng Panginoon? I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. Amen. Amen. Ano yung kanta na? Di ba yung sa Lord's Prayer? Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let us see on earth. Amen. The glory of your Son. Mga kapatid, Especially ngayon, sa hirap ng sitwasyon, the economy ngayon, mga kapatid. Sino po ang hindi nag-struggle sa economy? The economy is very depressed. Amen. Amen, church. If you ask for the Lord, Lord, give me, bigyan mo ako ng raise sa, sa trabaho. People who are working, maski binigyan ka ng raise ng 500, would it suffice? It's very impossible if the work give you 500 race. It's very impossible. But let's say, binigyan ka ng work ng 500 race. Does it suffice? Does it better yung uh, situation natin? Does it better our misery from all this inflation? No. 
That's why the Lord said, Call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things. Dahil ang sabi na doon, our prayer, my dear brothers and sisters, is, Lord, it's not, Lord, give me more pounds. It says in there, our prayer is, Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen, church? As a believer, if you live under the kingdom of God, if you live under the economy of God, di ba Psalms 91 sabi niya, makikita mo yung mga tao sa paligid mo, naghihikaos, naghihirapan. Well, I'm sure ikaw naghihirap din. Pero ano ba yung ibibigay ng hirap sa atin? Struggle, lungkot, desperation. But if you are in God, why is it that you experience the same struggle, you experience the same desperation and lungkot, pero you can still live with joy? Amen. So my dear brothers and sisters, True prayer, communication with God changes our position. Prayer changes our perspective. Amen, church? Amen. When we pray, we begin to see things according to God's perspective. Not our own perspective. Amen? Amen. When we begin to call to the Lord, when we begin to communicate with the Lord, we understand why the Lord did not give our wishes. Because we can see now in His perspective. Amen. And thank you, Lord. Sabi nga ni Brother Alan, I want to share, briefly share with you, mga kapatid, this brand new and I believe that powerful revelation that the Lord impressed upon my heart while I meditate this word. Sa Matthew 6.6, sabi niya rito, this is our favorite verse. When you pray, go into your room, Close the door and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father who sees what you done in secret will reward you. Let me get it right, mga kapatid. It is very important that we have our personal moment with the Lord behind our closed door. But there are times that it needs public prayer. Like when you are in the church, while you are in the assembly of people, kailangan din yung public prayer. Amen? Congregational prayer. But mga kapatid, the public prayer, the congregational prayer, is just an overflow of your personal prayer. Amen, church? Amen. The public prayer is just an overflow of the personal prayer. If personal prayer is not happening, yung public prayer, hindi po siya effective. You are just, sabi niya rito, you are just uttering. You are just repetition. Amen? But the revelation of the Lord is this. That when you pray on your personal prayer, the Lord says, go into your room, shut your door, because why, mga kapatid? To filter, to avoid any distractions. To filter, to avoid any disturbances. And to give a space for intimacy with the Father. Amen. That is our goal when we go in the presence of the Lord is to seek that intimacy moment with the Lord. Amen, church? Amen. Why? Because the Lord is our personal God. God is a personal God, mga kapatid. And a personal God wants personal intimacy, wants personal relationship. As a matter of fact, in the Garden of Eden, the Lord walked with Adam and Eve according to Genesis in the Garden of Eden. That's a personal relationship. Amen, church? The Lord created this vast cosmos, this vast universe, 
trillions of light years away. But my dear brothers and sisters, He chose earth to be His dwelling. He chose to be with Adam and Eve every morning walking in the breeze of a cool day. Because that is a personal relationship. Amen. Amen. That is the reason why that God sent His Son Jesus Christ to restore that personal relationship that was broken in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve sinned against the Lord. Amen, church. Jesus has only one main ministry purpose in coming here. To restore that personal relationship with the Father. Amen, church. You know when Jesus Christ died? That divide between man and God that symbolized that curtain was torn. Meaning all of us now are welcome to engage into that personal relationship with the Lord. Amen, church. So when you pray, the Lord says, when you call unto me, when you communicate with me, the Lord says, go into your room to filter disturbances, shut your door to filter distraction in order to allow that personal intimacy between you and me. Amen, church. Amen. Hallelujah. With these conditions, Amen? When there is no disturbance, when there is no distraction, there is that personal intimacy between you and the Father. Mga kapatid, the Father is pleased. Amen? The Father is pleased. Na mga nagsiselebrate ng anniversary, it's very good for us to be able to celebrate all of here today, but I'm sure that they would prefer as well that moment na silang dalawa lang. Amen. And when the Father is pleased, mga kapatid, He will reward you. Amen. That's what He says in there, that the Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Amen, church. Who wants to receive the reward of the Lord? Amen. Amen. Ang tanong is, what is that reward? Iniisip na naman ba natin na material things? Iniisip na naman ba natin na healing? Iniisip ba na naman ba natin na favors from God? Hindi ba pwedeng iba naman? Amen. You know what is the greater reward that you will receive when you come and communicate with the Father? We have been talking that for the last uh, uh, minutes. What is that? Is that you will receive His will? Is that He will reveal great and mighty things? Mga kapatid, not every person is entrusted by the Lord on that great and mighty things. Everyone can be entrusted with wealth. Everyone can be entrusted with health. Everyone can be entrusted with prosperity. But not everyone can be entrusted with that great and mighty things. And if you are a recipient of that great and mighty things, that means it's a clear sign that the Lord was pleased. Amen? Amen. Will you not be very happy? Will you not be very pleased? If the Lord reveal you the secrets of the kingdom. Amen, Amen church. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm teaching now. Listen to this. Amen. That's why when you go into your room and pray and communicate with God, don't forget to bring your notes. Amen. That's why when you go into your room, Shut the door. Communicate with God. Don't forget to bring your notes. Because communication with God is a two-way process. You need to listen as well. Because if the Lord is impressing something in your heart, ano yung sabi ni Ate Ani? If the Lord put it in your heart, it is in the heart of the Lord as well. Yun ba yung sinabi mo? So that while you are communicating with the Lord and the Lord impress something in your heart, pause, listen, write it. Because mga kapatid, 
That is the will of the Lord. That is the revelation of the Lord. Amen. Don't forget to bring your notes. And every time that there is an impression of the Lord in the middle of your prayer, you have to pause and write everything that the Lord is telling you. This is His will. This is the great and mighty things. And if you do that, you can actually begin to see great and mighty things. Amen. The reason why, mga kapatid, na sabi nga natin, a life of a cycle. That's the reason why na ilang taon na tayong kristyano, ilang taon na tayong nag-attend sa church, pero walang nagbabago. Dahil because we fail to communicate with God. Failure to communicate with God. We are contented na contento na tayo sa speaking, sa talking, asking God. Sa mga kapatid, kumusta po ang ating prayer life? That is my question to us. Kumusta po ang ating prayer life? Kayo lang po ang makakasagot niyan. Have you communicated with God today? When was the last time that we communicated with God? When was the last time that we went into our room, shut the door, and met intimately with our God in secret? Psalms chapter 1, my dear brothers and sisters, tell us, kapatid, kuya, ate, nakakabatang kapatid, it's about time that that cycle has to be broken. It is about time that there is a change in atmosphere. It is about time that transformation has to happen. It's about time that you start to desire brand new things from the Lord. It is about time, mga kapatid, to grow up. And where is the best place to start, sabi natin? Behind closed doors behind our closet. When we go into our room, we close our door and we begin to be intimate with the Father. Amen. You know Jesus? Who is Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters? The Son of God. Jesus himself says that I and the Father are one. Amen. Ako at ang aking ama ay iisa. But Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters, had a regular intimacy with the Father. Jesus was very prayerful. Hindi niya kailangan, but he was very prayerful. Matthew chapter 4 told us that Jesus was able to endure the temptation of the enemy because of prayer and fasting. Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 5 verse 16, it talks to us that Jesus often withdraw to desolate places and communicate with God. Luke 6.15, it says in there that Jesus often went to the mountain to pray all night. He was praying in the garden of Gethsemane when he was captured. He was praying in the cross when he was crucified. The last thing that he did before he gave his life, he was in communication with the Father. Amen, church. You are supposed to be called Christians. You are supposed to be called believers. You are supposed to be called disciples. Christian believer disciples means following in the footstep of Jesus Christ. 
The footstep of Jesus Christ is constant communication with God. Why are we exempted? We are not exempted, mga kapatid. You want to receive the Father's will in your life? <coughs> Amen? Amen? What was the secret there? Begin communicating with God. Hallelujah. You know, it was only when Jesus communicated with the Father that He was able to say that, Lord, not my will, but your will be done, Lord. When was the last time na nasabi mo yan sa Panginoon? Lord, not my will, but your will be done. So mga kapatid, we too are commanded without exemption of no one. People online, we are all commanded, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Set an appointment with God today. My dear brothers and sisters, I earnestly and I strongly encourage you, do not let this day be finished without setting an appointment with God today. Just tell your husband, just tell your wife, give me a moment. Just go to your room. Shut that door to filter disturbances, distraction, and have that personal intimacy moment with the Lord. Try it. Do not allow this day to finish 1.30, ilang oras pa bago matapos ang, gabing, ang araw na to. Do not let this day finish without setting an appointment with God. Do not let day by day finish without setting an appointment with God. Amen. And if you are feeling enthusiastic, come let us gather and Tuesday and Thursday and Friday to all corporately set an appointment with God. Amen po. Putulin natin dito, mahaba pa. Nag-uumpisa pa lang actually. At uh, masarap, kaya hindi natin napansin. But we'll continue this, this uh, next week. That setting an appointment with God. Amen, church? Let's bring in the music team. And uh, why don't we communicate with our Father today? Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mga kapatid, this is not a pastor-led singing coming to the Lord. What I want to encourage as mga kapatid is we have a personal God. And there is no right or wrong in coming to the Lord. The Holy Spirit says that if you do not know how to come to the Lord, the Holy Spirit can bridge that gap. And the Holy Spirit can intercede with us. Amen. And let us one step forward, as opposed to just saying, as opposed to just speaking to the Lord, as opposed to just asking to the Lord, why don't we listen to the Lord as well? Why don't we listen to the Lord as well and receive his will for us at this moment. Why don't we desire for the Lord to show us great and mighty things? So before we begin, can I just ask each and every one of us to be in that attitude of prayer, communication with the Lord? No? So let's pause muna, Gab. Let's pause po muna. And just that silent and let's try to hear what the Holy Spirit 
is putting in our heart. Sige po, for two minutes, before nating sabihin sa Panginoon our peace, let's just desire to listen to the Lord. That Lord, I desire to listen to your will. Talk, Lord, and show us your will. Show us that promise great and mighty things. We are calling unto you, Lord. We want to communicate with you this moment, Father God. Your name is power. Your name is healing. You are breaking every stronghold. You are light to the darkness. You are delivering the captives free. You are Jesus. And to you we come today and communicate to receive from you, to be personal and intimate with you. We are all ears. Convict us. Reveal yourself to us. That is our desire. That is our purpose this morning. Amen. Sige po. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. You are worthy, O God. You are worthy, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to come to you today. Brothers and sisters, this is the place. Can go back to the beginning. Can control what tomorrow will bring. But I know.
Church, the will of the Lord is free. All you have to do is desire it. Not All you need come. to do is communicate with God. Will you meet me? All you need to do is desire and say, Lord, will you meet me in this place again? Right here, right now. So I want. So you are. Will you meet? As I walk now through the valley, let your love rise above every fear, like the sun shaping the shadow. In my weakness, your glory appears. That will bring the glory of God. Accept that you are weak. Admit that you are a sinner. Admit that you are in need. Unless you go. Acknowledge that it is only will you the Father who can deliver you. Decide for the Father. So
The Lord is in those hearts. The Holy Spirit in those hearts. All you need to do is perceive it. Lo and behold, I am making a brand new things. Thus say it the Lord. All you need to do is perceive it, church. Brother, sister, all you need to do is perceive it. All you need to do is acknowledge it. Unless you come, will you meet me here again? Do you want to become suffice? Do you want to become enough? Tell the Lord that, Lord, I am not enough. Whoever that will humble themselves down, will you meet me here again? The Lord will glorify. Lord, I am not enough. I'm not enough. And the Lord will make you suffice. You Lord, I am weak. You meet me here and again. the Lord will strengthen you. Lord, I am a mess. Yes, and the Lord will turn your life into a message. Yes, all you are. Lord, will you meet me I am tested again. at the moment. And the Lord will give you testimony. All we need to do is be honest and true to the Lord. You can lie to me. You can lie to others. You can even lie to yourself. But you cannot and you will never be ever, ever be lied to the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, whatever your accomplishments in life. Ano man ang narating mo sa buhay, wala ka sa harap ng Panginoon. You cannot lift up yourself in the presence of God. All you need to do is humble down in the presence of God. Whatever the pains of yesterday, whatever the frustrations of yesterday, do not dwell in the past, the Lord says. You cannot undo the past. You cannot go back to the past. But what the Lord is proposing to us right now is, Lord, I cannot go back to the beginning. But I am willing to break that cycle. I am willing to break that rat race. I'm willing to break through from that rat race. Guide me, Lord. Lead me, Lord. Walk with me, Father. Met with me in this place, Father God. The Lord is in this place. Come, Holy Spirit, dry bones away. The Lord is in this place. Come on, church, let's desire the Holy Spirit of God. Let's cry, Holy Spirit. Desire that Spirit of God. It is springing forth. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Oh, Rabba Shiki, Rabba Sakata. Ia ra la ra Rabba Bashiki, Rabba Basakata. Ia ra la Rabba Bashiki, Rabba Sakandi. Oh, Ia ra 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 Rabba Bashiki, Rabba Sakanda. Kedi Ia ra Bashiki, Rabba Rabba Basiki, Rabba. Ori ara baba shiki di ara basa kanda ba. Ede ara la ra 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 baba shiki ara ba. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord say Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Come 
Come on, church. Let's sing a brand new song to the Lord. Let's bring down the Holy Spirit. of the Lord in your life, church. Desire the great and mighty things that the Lord will show you. an amazing God. Thank you, Father, that you look past our weaknesses, Lord. Thank you, Father, that you look past our inability to stand in your presence. Thank you for the fellowship, for the ministry of the Holy Spirit that intercedes with us. That when we cannot come in your presence, that when we do not know how to come in your presence, your Holy Spirit stands on that cup. Intercede with us with groaning. Father, nothing is hidden from you. Look upon the desires of your people, my dear brothers and sisters, people here in the hall and people who are online. And most of these people represent desire of their relevant loved ones. Father, consider us as we come and call upon your name. As we come and communicate with you. Lord, show us great and mighty things. Answer us by revealing your will. Father, we desire for that life transformation, Father God. We desire for breaking that cycle. We desire that you enable us to come and be in step with you. Father, thank you. Rest your outstretched arm upon the forehead of each and every one for anointing, for sanctification, for deliverance, for forgiveness, breaking every stronghold breaking every stronghold. Nothing is impossible to you, Lord. And Lord, you are a healer, breaking every sickness and illnesses. This is the moment, church, na pag may karamdaman ka, if you know someone na may karamdaman, why don't you declare them in your heart 
to the Lord. Lord, I want this person's healing. Lord, touch this person. Touch Emma Ortega, Father God, for healing on that cancer. Touch Hai Hai, who's at home at the moment, for healing and deliverance, Lord, yung sa trangkaso na yan. Touch the colleague of Sister Abelina for healing and deliverance from that cancer. Touch yung si Sister Gemma for that tuhod sa kanyang mga kapatid, depression, anxiety sa tuhod ni Sister Avelina. Every parent sa tatay ni Brother Alan, sa tatay ni Brother Ramon, sa tatay ni Sister Annie, every relatives, every family members, Irene, who is in the nursing home, restore that cognition, restore that sharpness in memory. Father, we bring to you all types and nature of illness and sicknesses. Father, we entrust to you the body of Christ. Yang pari na yan, yang pastor na yan, who is in the verge of giving up, who is in the verge of burning out. Father, give relief. That family that is struggling, Father, be the provision. People in desolate and terrible places, people in Ukraine, people in Russia, people in China, people in Afghanistan, Iran, Korea, in the Africas, people in the Middle East, even Lord in our very doorstep, there are people who are struggling, especially this winter times coming, especially with the economy being depressed, a lot of people are worried, a lot of people are concerned, a lot of people are not sure, especially the old people, how they are going to warm their houses Father be the relief Father be the warmth to them People who are experiencing discrimination in various ways in kinds. Father, sustain them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we have so much in our heart. But we know that the Holy Spirit can see what is in our heart and convey that to the Father. But Lord, one thing we learned today that when we call upon your name, that when we come and pray to you, that when we come and communicate with you, it is more than asking you what we want, what our will is, but it actually is receiving your will. And thank you because if we are living in your will, everything is in order. When a person is living in your will, everything will fall in their places. Thank you very much, Father, for the message that you have given us today. Thank you for the life of all the servants that you have used here this morning. Continue to bless them, promote and sanctify them. Thank you, Father God. We bless your name, Lord. We glorify your name, Father. And Lord, we entrust unto you yung gawain namin sa Aldershot this afternoon. At Father God, kung well, may mga makakapunta. They have already confirmed. And we pray, Father God, that you continue to spring forth that work in Aldershot. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless your name, Father. We bless your name, O God. And all the people of God says, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Sige po, I believe we have uh, celebrations bago siguro tayo mag-victory song. Hallelujah. Uh, San si Ate Grace? Ate Grace.
so much for the life of this young man, Father God. Lord, we thank you according to his prayer. We say amen, thanking the life of his parents, Father God, that you have used them wonderfully for your purposes and bringing the life of this young man in this world, Father God. And Lord, as he turned 14 today, we thank you so much, Father God, and we continue to acknowledge all your good countenance throughout the years, Lord. And Lord, we continue, Father, to usher him, Father God, as he turned 14 and over the years to come. We, we thank you so much, Father God, because you who began a good works in him will bring it to completion up until the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Anniversary okay. to Uh, hindi, kanina, I was just listening to Brother Ramon. Um, actually, I am also thankful sa Panginoon. Um, <laughs> hindi, yung ano ko lang doon sa Ecclesiastes, yung sinabi nga na two are better than one. Yung talagang ano, um, proven sa amin na when one falls down, there is someone who will always lift you up. So, yun yun yung na ano sa amin relationship. So, I was just so thankful sa Panginoon. And ang sinasabi niya kanina na um, it's because of me na nandito siya. No, it's actually the plan of the Lord. Um, from the very beginning, um, the Lord, it is the Lord's plan for him and me to be in this church serving the Lord. So, ang pasasalamat po siguro at papuri ibinabalik ko sa Panginoon. Dahil um, we are here, uh, we are standing, and uh, we are um, serving the Lord together as a family. So, yan, yan yung pasasalamat ko rin sa buhay ni Brother Ramon na um, yun, sa mga panahon na ako'y nanghihina, he is always there to push me. <laughs> push you. <laughs> so, ayun. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Ramon. Uh, yun nga. Yung binigay sa akin yung partner, binigay sa akin yung husband. Um, oo, a better half nga na sinasabi. So, confidante din sa lahat ng pagkakataon. So, I thank the Lord for your life. Answered prayer. <laughs> so, yun po. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Lakpakan po natin ang I think uh, a new phrase has been birthed in this uh, pulpit today. You are my answered prayer. <laughs> Amen. So lahat dapat ng mga husband and wives equally can talk to their partners and say, You are my answered prayer. Hallelujah. Pag-pray po natin ang ating mga kapatid. Hallelujah. Most gracious Lord and Heavenly Father. Lord, we thank you so much. For this wonderful family is an understatement, Father God. And alam namin, Father God, that um, uh, the way we see them as wonderful is no much on how you see them as wonderful, Father God. Sa amin, Father God, na kanilang mga kapatid, Father, we are just 
more than thankful na kasama namin sila na nagsisilbi, na naninilbihan sa iyo. We are just thankful, Father God, for the opportunity to be able to serve you and worship you alongside them. And Lord, we, we thank you. We thank you, Father God, for um, uh, all their effort, their help, their sacrifices, Father God, that although we recognize and we acknowledge that everything that they are doing is they are doing it for you, Father God, but like what I've said, just the same. As a church, as a family, we take joy in saying sa kanila na maraming salamat. And we just thank you so much, Father God. Ikaw po, Lord, uh, you are the one who deserve the highest praises and the highest or glory and honor, Father God. Ang amin lang prayer, Lord, is as they continue to desire, O oh God, in serving you, as they continue to desire in growing up with you, Father God, that you continue to guide them and usher them, Father God. And when that day comes, Father God, that, that path becomes obscure. When th that day comes, Father, that there is an obstacle and barrier along that path, then Lord, we pray that you will break every stronghold. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. And Lord, we do not just celebrate with them in the spirit, but Father God, we take this opportunity to celebrate as well in them in the flesh, Father God. Maraming salamat, and we continue to bless you in their life. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, oh, Brother Alan. Victory song. Let's uh, sing that song, Victory Song. Ano na yun? Amen. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Amen. Let us sing a song. Uh, uh, that song, second one. The second, yeah, the second one. Yeah, we want to see Jesus lifted high. Amen. Let's lift up Jesus high, church. Hallelujah. Want to see Jesus, want to see Jesus, want to see Jesus lift it high again. Want to see Jesus, want to see Jesus, want to see Jesus lift it high. We want to see Jesus lift it high. A banner of lights across this land that all men might see the truth and know is the way. Jesus left it high, a banner that flies across this land, that all we might see the truth and know, here's the way to heaven. We want to see Jesus, we want to see Jesus, want to see Jesus left it high. We want to see Jesus, want to see Jesus, we want to see Jesus left it high. By step we moving forward, little by little we're taking ground. Everywhere a powerful weapon, strongholds come, thundering down and down and down. We want to see Jesus left it high, a water that flies across this land, that only might see the truth.
Thank you, G. Okay, let us end in prayer po. Hallelujah. Itaas natin ang ating kamay as a sign of trust and surrender sa Panginoon. Lord, we have no other desire. We have no other purposes, Father God. As according to the word, O Lord God, of Saint, uh, of Paul, Apostle Paul, Father God, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, Father God, that Lord, whether a single man, a married man, Father God, at ano yung sabi mo dun, Lord, that we have no other desire but to serve your purposes, but to glorify you, to lift up Jesus high using our bodies because our bodies does not belong to us anymore. Our bodies belongs to you. I have Father God, Thank you for that wonderful opportunity and privilege that you have allowed us to serve you, to worship you, to lift up your name on high this morning, Father God. And Lord, I pray, Father God, and uh, I desire, Lord, speak blessing upon the life of each and every one that even as we finish today even as each and every one return to their own home to their own places as even each and every one will return to their usual week Lord we pray that allow opportunity for us to make that appointment with you to communicate with you and Lord we pray that every appointment with you, Father God, will be filled of your presence, will be filled of your glory, your will, that you are going to show your people great and mighty things. We are excited, Father God. We are excited. So church, I encourage you to be excited, to communicate with the Father, to be excited to make that appointment with the Father. And declaration and the blessings of the Lord, sabay-sabay po natin sabihin that may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah. Uh, before we forget, but anyone po na who wants to pray with us, these are the tracks. Uh, that the church have produced. These are the uh, invitation for our um, uh, Christmas services. These are the invitation for our Aldershot service. And these are the trucks invitation for our services. Sige po, uh, ipag-pray po natin yung mga available, who are available. Sige po, yung mga leaders po. Ati Grace, ati ano? Sige, eh, sige, kaya lang. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, itinataas namin sa iyo, ipinagkakatiwala namin sa iyo, Father God, ang lahat ng material na to Lord. Um, uh, yung mga leaflets, yung mga material ng church, Father God. Maraming salamat, Lord, sa buhay ng mga kapatiran, Father God, na ginamit mo to come out with the initiative of this. At uh, maraming salamat, Lord, na sana ay ma-fulfill yung mga desire, yung mga purposes, yung reason why did we have to produce this, Father God. And ganun din, Father God, sa buhay ng iyong church, sa buhay ng bawat kapatiran, Father God, that through their giving, Lord, na nagkaroon kami ng opportunity to fund, Father God, itong mga printouts na to, Lord. But most importantly, maraming salamat sa mga buhay who will reach out 
because of these trucks, Father God. Lord, we pray that each and every single one of these trucks, Father God, be an ushered in converted soul for your kingdom, Panginoon. We pray, Lord, sa bawat kamay na magdadala ng mga trucks na to, Lord, that, Father God, i-equip them, i-empower them, hindi lamang yung kamay nila, Father God, ang channel, Lord, na isibahagi ang mga to, kundi gamitin mo yung buhay nila, Lord, to share their testimony about you, Father God. Lord, uh, this is quite costly, especially with this current climate and situation. And Lord, we pray na we be a good steward, Father God, ng mga trucks na to. Na hindi lamang po ito may stock sa mga bag, hindi lamang po ito matupi, Father God, sa mga jacket, sa mga pantalon, hindi lamang po ito matupi, Father God, in the corners. But Lord, each and every single uh, page of this truck, Father, will reach the intended recipient na nasa iyong puso, Panginoon. And maraming maraming salamat. Father God, we pray as we desire this, Lord, na continue, Father God, na i-grow ang church na to, Father, in the spirit, body, and soul, Father God. We pray, O Lord, because you are going, you have started a great and mighty things, and it is springing forth already. And maraming maraming salamat, Father God. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Uh, please be invited. We have trucks in here and uh, invite others po. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry. Pictures of mga celebrities.